Hello, I'm Michael and I'm here to present an exceptional opportunity for Memorial that will be provided through a robust organizational wellness plan. So what's exciting about organizational wellness? You may be thinking, this is nothing new. We've had an organizational wellness plan at Memorial for decades. Well, I'm excited to tell you that an opportunity exists that will completely change your perception of organizational wellness. An opportunity to drive over $1.5 million in savings over the first five years. We will redefine what wellness means to our organization. Wellness is no longer a company expense for the benefit of employees. Wellness, when properly designed and delivered, is a symbiotic relationship that exists between employer and employees that will deliver exceptional value to all. I realize that a cost savings business plan isn't as sexy as developing a project to introduce a million dollars in revenue. But every good businessman knows that reductions to existing expenses go directly to the company bottom line. The estimated $1.5 million mentioned will in fact directly impact our net profit. So what's the problem? The problem is that rising healthcare costs are compromising profitability for all companies that provide healthcare benefits for employees and their dependents. For Memorial, we have seen the cost rise to the point that the provision of health care benefits are a risk for the financial sustainability of our organization. The total cost of our health plan last year was $21.2 million. This is a tremendous burden for an organization of our size. This problem is shared with our customers, the employees of Memorial. As costs for health care rise, benefit expenses must be passed on to the consumer. This direct impact of consumers is profound and impacts our ability to recruit and retain potential employees if premiums continue to rise. The solution. Much like the design of healthcare reform, organizations are looking for ways to control healthcare expenses. Healthcare reform strategies are aligned with the notion that preventative care will minimize high downstream health utilization costs. Our solution lies with the same philosophy. Better preventative care strategies will reduce overall expenses to our self-insured health plan. Wellness programs can be specifically designed to provide these cost reduction strategies. Within these wellness programs are specific targeted drivers that impact population segments that contribute large portions of healthcare spend for our organization. These strategies, when effectively designed and implemented, will provide a healthier, happier, and more productive workforce while controlling healthcare expenses for Memorial. As a self-insured community hospital, we have a unique opportunity to control costs through a robust wellness program. We possess the intellectual capabilities and infrastructure to deliver these cost reduction strategies. Our wellness program in combination with proper health plan design can cut our expenses in the long term while creating a culture of wellness that directly and indirectly provides positive results for all of Memorial Services and our finances. So how do we accomplish this? My business plan proposes three specific wellness services. The first is an on-site wellness clinic. This clinic will service employees and dependents for urgent care needs. The quality and convenience of this on-site clinic will entice employees to utilize this service instead of expensive alternatives such as urgent care and emergency room visits. The second service is chronic drug therapy management. This will be delivered by a pharmacist. Proper medication management for patients will drive cost savings through preventative care for target segments such as those with diabetes and hypertension. Lastly, we will provide education and incentives to patient providers to increase the percentage of generic medication prescriptions. Significant savings will be realized for our health plan with the proper utilization of generic medications in place of brand alternatives with similar outcomes. A portion of these savings will be passed on to the consumer for added incentives for change. A deeper look into our health plan expenses show the opportunities that exist. Memorial's annual spend for ER utilization is $1.2 million compared to a benchmark average of just over $400,000. As you can see, our ER visit volumes are also way out of line with the benchmark average. Our on-site clinic will reduce ER utilization and other costly alternatives of care due to the quality and convenience of this service. Our CDTM services will target our diabetic population segment. 
Our diabetes expense for our health plan is 30% above benchmark average, indicating another significant opportunity. Proper medication management delivered through CDTM services will reduce annual health spend expenses for this population segment by an estimated $1,200 per patient per year. Lastly, our ability to increase generic utilization through effective education to influence prescribing patterns will also reduce expenses to our health plan by over $250,000 for the first three years. These opportunities are profound and my business plan is considered to be conservative in relation to these opportunities. So what is our strategic advantage? What motivates the consumer, the employee, to access these services that will drive expense reduction? There are three key success factors, quality, convenience, and cost. Our ability to deliver services direct to the consumer at their place of employment will drive convenience that will crush the competition. We will virtually eliminate travel and wait times, a significant differentiating factor for healthcare delivery. Our quality is delivered through our core competence as a healthcare provider. We will utilize best practices to assure that we are delivering exceptional patient care to deliver quality outcomes. Finally, our cost to the consumer is exceptional. Everyone likes free and that is exactly what we'll deliver for our wellness services. The cost savings realized through effective delivery of care will allow us to offer our services at no cost to the consumer. These strategic advantages clearly drive undeniable value to the consumer. Marketing for our wellness plan will focus on engaging the customer to create the desire to access wellness services. Wellness experts interviewed consistently agree that employee engagement strategies are vital for success. Like any business strategy, effective marketing must deliver messaging direct to the consumer to create the desire to access services. Our vision is to create a culture of change within the organization. A culture of wellness describes the value that all participants perceive for wellness offerings. Once this culture is established, the desired results for access and ownership of health improvement will be evident throughout the organization. With our desired culture, the need to sell wellness concepts will no longer be necessary. It is a positive feedback loop where success breeds success. This vision must be shared with customers and marketing strategies are key to accomplishing this. Marketing efforts will, fo will focus on services offered along with the cultural aspects of general positive health choices. Marketing will be done by our, our internal communications department. The business plan provides $20,000 in the budget for the first year, $15,000 in year two, and $10,000 per year thereafter. Marketing and advertising for services will occur in a variety of formats to maximize exposure. We will utilize the hospital intranet site, which will contain a link for our wellness services. We will also have educational videos that are updated monthly that explain the service offerings, benefits of these offerings, cost benefits to the consumer, and overall education with a focus on target segments. Brochures will be created and available in all departments and distributed to all staff. Wellness staff will attend department meetings to educate and promote wellness services direct to the consumer. An initial mailing with brochures and information will be sent to the homes of all covered employees. Health plan benefit documents will have a specific segment describing wellness benefits. We will provide marketing to the total market of nearly 4,000 employees and dependents. We will have focused marketing efforts on those with high utilization for emergency room visits, urgent care visits, those with diabetes, heart disease, and high brand medication utilization rates. We will promote the value of personal health benefits to be delivered through services along with incentives for accessing services that will reduce healthcare premiums and copayment expenses. The key is that we simply can't just throw out incentives. The partnership that leads to the culture of wellness is vital. Marketing the personal health benefits must create this desire with incentives that will help assure customers will take initiative to access wellness services.